Welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to look at 5 current WWE superstars you didn't know suffered from serious health issues. Be sure to like and subscribe for more wrestling content. WWE superstars train for years to hone their craft, but sometimes health issues can hinder the pursuit of their dreams. Many current WWE stars have battled eating disorders, depression, and anxiety throughout their time training to be wrestlers. Plenty of these stars face various struggles during their time with the company. Wrestling is a business that garners a lot of criticism from former stars and journalists alike, a pattern that leads to a reaction from the wrestlers who are currently employed by WWE. The industry seems like it's changing, though. Mental health issues have been pushed to the forefront of the discussion in recent years. Still, several wrestlers have been able to push aside their health conditions in order to pursue a career in with the biggest wrestling company in the world. The following list looks at just five current stars who have been open about their recent health struggles in their personal lives. Please try and keep your comments positive, for this has nothing to do with storylines, but real-life conditions. Number 5. Current WWE Superstar Kyle O'Reilly, Type 1 Diabetes. Kyle O'Reilly is a former tag team champion in NXT, and he's one of the most popular stars on the black and gold brand. But the former Rose star was once told by doctors that diabetes would make his prospective career in sports entertainment impossible. In 2019, O'Reilly used an Instagram post to reveal that he wears a continuous glucose monitor, CGM, on his arm. The device allows him to constantly track his blood sugar levels, and it has allowed him to wrestle and manage his condition at the same time. I know hard it can be living with diabetes. Injecting insulin or constantly stabbing your finger to test your blood at what always seems to be the prime inopportune moment. There are so many variables that make living with this disease difficult, and every day is a struggle to maintain healthy blood sugars. Although there is no cure, medical technology continues to advance, and having the CGM become a part of my life has really changed the game for me. O'Reilly continues to perform at a high level on a regular basis for WWE, and he could be one of the men representing NXT at this year's WrestleMania pay-per-view in just a few weeks. Number 4. Former WWE Champion Daniel Bryan, Vitiligo. Daniel Bryan has had quite the WWE career in recent years, as his return from an early retirement has been a remarkable journey. He has defied the odds and added another world title to his impressive resume. But Bryan struggled with his own personal demons throughout this period, and the star revealed that he struggled with vitiligo. Members of the WWE universe may not be familiar with the condition, but it's an autoimmune disease that affects the skin and causes it to lose its color pigment. Many people who suffer from the condition see patches of their skin become white, and it can also cause some hair loss. Vitiligo is not lethal, but it is a nauticable ailment. It is manageable, but the patches can continue to form indefinitely. Brian has persevered, and he has continued to perform on WWE's main roster since his return in 2018. He also recently joined the company's creative team backstage, and he welcomed the second of his two children into the world. Number 3. Current WWE Superstar Aleister Black, Depression and Anxiety. Aleister Black hasn't been seen on WWE programming since October 2020, but many fans still hope to see him accomplish great things in WWE. The former NXT champion has an interesting character, and at one point in time, he was a very private person. But following his championship victory in 2018, Black opened up about his personal struggles with depression and anxiety. The current SmackDown superstar described this battle in an Instagram post. I am not going to try and win anyone over by asking for your sympathy. I am simply telling you who I am. I am someone who suffers from anxiety and depression. You know when you wake up and you can feel inside yourself that you are not having a good day already? Well I wake up too sometimes like that, only I wake up wondering why I even still wake up. Black's post was intended to show the WWE Universe that despite the struggle he had endured for almost two decades, he believed that the best chapter in his life was yet to come. Number 2. Former WWE Champion Sheamus, Cervical Spinal Stenosis. Sheamus is back in the main event picture on WWE programming alongside his longtime friend Drew McIntyre. But just a few years ago, the Celtic warrior was almost forced into a premature retirement. In 2018, fans learned that the Irish star was struggling with cervical spinal stenosis. The condition ended the careers of both Edge and Page, though the rated R superstar has since found a way to return to the ring. 
Due to his struggle to stay healthy, Sheamus revealed that there were times when he thought he would be unable to regain his status as an active competitor. There were a couple of times when I thought, will I make it back in there? Especially when I got a concussion in that match after WrestleMania. But I used that time really well, I went to physiotherapy, went to boxing, kickboxing. I got myself in the best shape possible, dropped 40 pounds. I feel better, look better, and I've never been hungrier to get back in the ring. For me, the first 10 years were just a warm-up. This is the real deal now. I'm just starting, mate. I'm telling you, my body feels amazing. I feel better at 42 than I did at 32. The issues with his neck forced the former WWE champion to adapt his in-ring style. But this change has allowed his wrestling career to continue, and he remains a prominent star on WWE Raw. Number 1. Former WWE Champion Bray Wyatt, Mental Health Issues. Bray Wyatt has become one of the greatest creative minds in WWE in recent years. Since he unveiled his Fiend persona in 2019, the former WWE Champion has dominated the company. The monstrous Fiend gimmick has clearly taken Wyatt's career to new heights. Wyatt's uncanny ability to tell stories with incredible promos and remarkable character work have made the past two years of his WWE tenure quite successful. But in 2020, he revealed that he has been affected by the negativity that often surrounds the business. Wyatt took to Instagram to reveal that his family saved his life after the fans' criticism harmed his mental health. He then asked the WWE Universe to be better. With great power comes great responsibility. The negativity in our world is astonishing and mental health is at an all-time decline. Be better, it could save a life. They saved mine. Wyatt, or The Fiend, hasn't been seen on WWE programming since TLC, Tables, Ladders, and Chairs in December. But he is widely expected to make his return on the road to WrestleMania. If he does, many fans will hope to see him resume his heated feud with Randy Orton. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe with the notifications on so that you don't miss out on our next video.